Hello YouTube and welcome to an all new Elder Scrolls video. Today a theory, the first one in years actually on this channel because today on Skyrim's 11th anniversary, 11 years after the first release, I want to present you with a find in Skyrim which as far as I'm aware has been covered nowhere before yet. And this is actually the sole reason why I even bother making a Skyrim theory 11 years after release because as far as I could find it nobody covered it yet and I'm convinced by this theory myself as opposed to many of the theories that I've seen over the last few years. This theory actually has some pretty strong clues and I'm pretty convinced that this was Bethesda's intent and not just something that we're projecting on an 11 year old game as most of the theories I've seen of late. So, the final Thalmor spy that we haven't found in the game yet I think it is this character, Niranyi, the High Elf General Goods Merchant from the Windhelm Market. And let me explain why I think she might be a spy and why I think it was specifically Bethesda's intent to lead us to this conclusion, which strangely enough nobody seems to have made yet. First of all her backstory. Naranya, when asked about it tells us that she only recently arrived from the Somerset Isles and went to Skyrim with it being the land of opportunity. Specifically that opportunity in Skyrim right now is selling weapons with the civil war going on as the Khajiit merchants would tell us in different conversations. Anyway, when she arrived, she had trouble with the local population. The locals in Windhelm, which is basically the center of the rebellion, didn't really trust a high elf suddenly starting to live in their midst. But in her words, she then made the right friends and made herself useful. We find out in some of her radiant dialogue with other citizens of Windhelm that making herself useful basically means selling her wares to the population at absolutely rock bottom prices. When another citizen asks her who her supplier is, the only thing that she says to that is that she has the right suppliers and that her suppliers are very secretive. Now later on during the Thieves Guild quest Somerset Shadows we actually learn who at least part of her suppliers are, namely the Somerset Shadows which is supposed to be an all high elf thieving organization from the Somerset Isles which only recently started to operate in Skyrim and essentially forces Niranya to sell their thieving spoils to the population. Remember this, we'll get back to it in a moment. Because during this quest we also learned that Neranya was a fence for the Thieves Guild, in her words, a very long time ago. Here my curiosity started peaking, as in her opening dialogue she tells us that she only just arrived from the Somerset Isles. So either that's a lie, or it isn't a lie and she once lived in Skyrim when she was a fence, then had to go back to home for some reason to the Somerset Isles, and then recently came back or was sent back to Skyrim. Uh, to set up shop in Windhelm. Now I personally think that it's probably the latter option, that she was sent back to Windhelm by the Thalmor for the following two reasons. Reason number one, the Thalmor dossier on Ulfric Stormcloak. This dossier which we can find in the embassy of the Thalmor mentions that if aid is to be given to the Stormcloaks to keep the civil war going, it needs to be very indirect, so no overt weapon supplies to Ulfric as he would refuse those out of his hatred for the Thalmor. But how about selling weapons in his city at rock bottom prices to help the Stormcloaks out? That seems far less overt and far more indirect. And reason number two, her arrival in Windhelm from the Somerset Isles coincided almost directly with the arrival of the Somerset Shadows, those all high elf thieves who supply her with her goods. Now, in the little bit of lore that we have on this group, and admittedly that's very little because uh, I wanted to cover them in the past, but there's really no reason to cover them on this lore channel, as they're just not that deep. But in the bit of lore that we have on them, we learn that they're essentially in the business of robbing graves and then selling the spoils of the graves back to the population. This is a plot point in their questline, where they try to sell a locket of a deceased citizen back through Nuranya's stand. Anyway. Talking about her stand, let's look at that stand, because she is supposed to be a general goods merchant, so selling basically everything. But essentially, on the outside, she exclusively sells weapons, which she apparently sells to the local population at absolute rock bottom prices. She sells no jewelry, except for some radiant stuff which can be in just standard Skyrim merchant inventories. But on her stand, the one thing that Bethesda made to be static, so not something that game mechanics can change, are weapons. She sells only weapons on her weapon stand. I mean, they could have put some jewelry on there if everything came from graves, they could have put some pots on there even though it's not useful to the player, I mean it's something that they would rob from graves, but no, only weapons. 
So this could mean to me one of two things. One, either the Somerset Shadows, so, so that little thief syndicate from the Somerset Isles, rarely steals jewelry or anything like that, which is weird because it's basically the most profitable thing from graves to sell. Or Narania has another supplier of weapons which sells them to her at an absolute rock bottom loss so that she can sell them to the Windhelm population at basically bargain bin prices. In the latter case, that other supplier would likely be the Thalmor, and in the former case, either the Somerset Shadows are super incompetent thieves, or, keeping in mind they arrived at almost the exact same time back in Skyrim from the Somerset Isles with Neranyi, they are specifically instructed to mainly steal weapons from the graves and then sell them at a loss, and then they do a trinket here and there on the side to keep themselves afloat. So, sometimes do a bit of jewelry, but mainly do weapons. In either case, Narania is supplying Windhelm with bargain bin price weapons from really shady sources, which could either partly come directly from the Thalmor or from thieves, which could also work for the Thalmor and could have been instructed to only steal weapons and sell them at low prices. Now, one little thing, when confronted about her connection with the Somerset Shadows, Narania says that Linway, which is the leader of the Somerset Shadows, threatened to kill her if she did not comply. But that could just be a cover story. In fact, when we examine two letters that we get from Linway in the game, or at least that we find that are from Linway to Naranyi, we see something in those letters which, at least according to me, stands out. Because the letters are about dependent from earlier, which plays a part in the quest, which Naranyi refuses to sell at her stall because someone might recognize it to have belonged to the recently deceased, thus blowing the whole scheme open. The tone from Linway to her in those letters seems to be not so much threatening in the sense a thief would be threatening, but rather in the same way the Thalmor treat their spies and those lower in rank. I mean, read it, they call her an asset, and while the letter is definitely vaguely threatening, it doesn't directly mention threatening her life or ending her life in any way, or even blowing her cover. The second letter is even more revealing as it has a much softer tone and gives transparency about the entire operation to basically just a merchant at the end of the chain if they were thieves but instead they give her basically openness about her entire operation and they even assure her of how they got dependent and in which way they are involved in the murder which they aren't. Uh, because that's what the note is about. The note, especially at the end, sounds more concerning than threatening, saying at the end, I hope you find a buyer soon, I don't like the heat this is bringing. Overall, those two notes seem more like mission briefings uh, than some gang threatening a merchant. Because if you're a gang threatening a merchant at the end of your chain, basically, you don't give any insight into your operations, they're just an asset. But in this case, she seems more like an asset to a Thalmor operation, or at least as a part of a Thalmor operation, at least to me. Because this whole tone is remarkably similar in tone to other Thalmor correspondence that we find in the game. Also talking about tone, on a side note, Niranyi talks exactly like a Thalmor in her speech mannerisms. Um, while we do have examples of other high elf women in the game, who we know are not affiliated with the Thalmor, who talk in a regular way, so not talk like the Thalmor do in the game. Although that could just be the same voice actor, so I wouldn't really make it a central plot in this theory. Anyway, when you take down the Somerset Shadows, she will start working with the Thieves Guild instead, and sell her stuff at the market stall, basically as a front for the Thieves Guild. This is also very reminiscent of Thalmor's secret practices, sacrificing assets when they are compromised, but then adapting to still accomplish the mission's main goal. As this way, while her Thalmor-backed suppliers are gone, she can still continue selling weapons at rock-bottom rock prices to the citizens of Windhelm, as her original mission may have been. While at the same time not having to compromise herself, and even distancing herself even further to those who know about her former connections to the Somerset Shadows by helping them take the Somerset Shadows out. So let's recap this theorized story before presenting you with two additional clues which in my opinion make this theory story likely intended by Bethesda. Niranyi was once a fence in Skyrim and in the past went back to the Somerset Isles, only to then come back to Skyrim specifically to Windhelm, a city which is not fond of elves and is basically the center of the civil war during the civil war. And there she sells weapons to the Stormcloak population at rock-bottom prices. 
and obtains these weapons, at least partly, from the Somerset Shadows, a group which also just recently appeared around the same time as Niranyi and arrived also from the Somerset Isles, and specifically seems to rob graves for the weapons that the Nords bury their dead with. While at the same time, at the Talmor Embassy, we find a note saying that if they are to help the Stormcloaks in any way, the help has to be very indirect. And this kind of help would be indirect, as nothing would link it to them. Nothing would make Ulfric suspicious that the Thalmor may be linked to this. And when the Somerset Shadows are compromised, Niranyi starts selling stuff from the Thieves Guild and still continues selling basically only weapons at her stand. Again, for rock bottom prices, because they're all stolen. Now, so far it's all just conveniently aligned story bits, but what we really makes me think that Bethesda intended us for to interpret this this way are the following two clues. First of all, during one of her radiant conversations with Windhelm's population, she specifically asks about Talos worshippers and offers to help people disappear. Now, this can be interpreted as her just not hating Talos worshippers like the rest of her kind and wanting to protect them against the Thalmor as she wants to be seen as one of the good ones and Bethesda wants us to see her as one of the good ones. But I don't think she likes Talos worshippers at all. I think she makes this offer to find out where more Talos worshippers are holed up and perhaps others are holed up which are currently in hiding and then gain their trust. And why do I think this? Well, Bethesda gave us one final clue. In her house, almost deliberately hidden in another stack of books, is the book The Talos Mistake, which is one big piece of pro Thalmor propaganda about how worshipping Talos is a big mistake and how the Thalmor are essentially friends not to be feared. If she hates the Thalmor so much, and if she is not against Talos worship, then why did Bethesda place this book, which is basically the book stating that Talos is bad and is big Thalmor propaganda, why would they deliberately place this in her house? All they had to do was not place it there, but this is not a radiant item, so it's not a respawning item or something which can be random. I checked on multiple saves and my arch enemy, Mr. Stormcloak Knowledge, who you can sometimes see in the comments, and who actually came to me with this theory initially, also checked and the book is also always there on his save files. So this is not accidental and it's a deliberate placement. So. I call case closed. Niranyi is a Thalmor spy who equips the Stormcloaks with weapons to keep the civil war going and is documenting Talos worshippers in the process. And now that I've looked at this, honestly I think it's so obvious that I don't really know why nobody else has theorized it. If they have, at least I couldn't find it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, it's 11 years after the first release of Skyrim and we're still finding new things. And with we, I literally mean we, because Mr. Stormcloak Knowledge, whom I mentioned earlier, he was the one who initially came with the first clues of this theory to me. And uh, yeah, from there we started theorizing and we came up with this little theory, which became more plausible every second. And when, when we found the book in our house, I was like, yeah, this is probably how, how Bethesda intended for us to see it. Anyway, happy Skyrim anniversary. And... Uh, Thank you all for watching, I'll see you all in the next Elder Scrolls video and the next one will be a regular lore video again, so I will vocally thank my Patreon supporters there, but for now, thank you everybody, special thanks to my Patreon supporters, and uh, yeah, to the next 11 years of Skyrim, bye bye.